we have this 21 Chevy Suburban High Country. The customer state, the wheel brakes are grinding, and um, the brake life monitor is within 14%. As you guys see here, the wheel, the back brake pad are completely worn out. I'm gonna show you how to replace the brake pad and rollers, and um, how to put the wheel brakes in service mode using this skin tool here. I'll post the link in the comment section below for that skin tool and other tool used in the video as well. So first step is to put the vehicle on, not, not with the engine not running. Um, we're gonna use this little tool here to identify the vehicle. Um, that skin tool work on GM specifically. Um, you go into the menu and um, navigate to it and go to um, the electronic brake control module and put the wheel brakes in service mode it might not say service mode on the menu but um you go into special function and go down to electronic brake control module or brake system control module ebcm and we go down to activate wheel brake pad service mode and you're gonna see all those lights flashing on the dash and the parking brake is whining in the back so so that actually means it's in service mode it's going to service mode there we go the next step is shut it off and we're gonna use this screwdriver like this the flat blade um to compress the caliper all the way by putting pressure on the outside pad now it's good and we're gonna use a screwdriver again so we can um hit the brake holder to break the rust free what we're gonna do is remove um, the brake holder retaining screw which is a t30 those have a tendency to stuck to the hub so it's best to hit it with a hammer and you'll be able to take it off there you go I take the screwdriver off. Now let's take out uh, the brake bleeder screw cap. It holds the brake parking sensor, the brake well sensor in. And we're going to unplug it. Let's pull the wall connector out and pull that gray tab out. Right? You can do it by hand, but in my case, that one was pretty seized. I ended up using a flabby screwdriver like this, a pocket screwdriver per se, and push it out and squeeze it and unplug it. Or if not, you're gonna have to use that pocket screwdriver again to disengage it on the inside. You're gonna see a black tab inside of it. You're gonna pull it up using that um, pocket screwdriver and pull it at the same time. It's pretty rusty as you guys see here. That's why it's stuck in there. And it's good. Now using a 40 millimeter, I'm gonna use my Milwaukee um, with a 40 millimeter swivel to remove the brake caliper bracket bolt. Those electric tools not necessary. You can use regular hand tools, which I'll post a link um, for basic hand tools on the comment section below. Now we take out the brake caliper, we put it on the side. It won't go anywhere that way. There you go. Now we're gonna inspect our um, the sliding pin in the boot. Take out our old brake pad. Good. And we're gonna remove um, the brake caliper bracket bolt. It is a 80 millimeter. I'm using an L tool, um, but you can use the regular um, half inch in the 18 millimeter because those bolts are pretty tight. It will be best if you use a half inch ratchet. You have enough leverage to break those bolts free. But to speed up the process, I'm using um, L tools. Take the caliper bucket out of the way and the water. It is best if you 
use um using a little screwdriver let's remove um, those clip that's in the caliper that's what um the brake pad wide zone you need to remove those clips the new pad and water usually comes with them and we're going to clean um them up because it's pretty rusted and brick dust all over it using a, um, a wire brush like this we're going to clean our hub to make sure um, the brick wood have a clean surface good here is the new water we're going to clean um, the new brick water. They have a rust protection film on them. I'm going to use brick cleaner or soapy water to clean it up. Good. And we're going to install those clip here. Make sure you pay attention to the orientation. That little clip that's um, over it need to face out. That little clip here, they always need to face out. Um, pay attention to the orientation of it um, and you'll be fine. They only go in one way. Now we're going to grease our caliper slide pin. Good. Now we're putting our caliper bucket back in. 80 millimeter bolt. I'm going to finish to tie it up with um, an 18mm ratchet, let me see 18mm socket and ratchet, good. We put, we're going to put our new brake pad in. Make sure you grease them up. Um, the one with the hole in the back always go in the back because that's where uh, the new brake sensor will go in. So let's install our, our caliper back in. Good. Good. Let's install our new Google sensor. And remember to pop your brakes before you go for a test drive. And there will be a clip at the end to show you um, how to get it out surface mode using that skin tool. It is a great skin tool to have um, if you own a Chevy vehicle or any GM vehicle for that matter. Great skin tool to have. And that's it guys, um, that'll be it. Make sure you plug in your wire sensor. And that's it, thanks for watching. See the next one. Stay tuned for the next clip. We're back in the vehicle now. The brakes are replaced. So we're going to put the vehicle on. Don't start the engine, just put the vehicle on. Accessory mode. There you go. Are you installing your did you install new brakes? You see yes. 100 percent And what we're gonna do now, um this going to set a few codes in the um, in the brake control module. The idea is to go back and um clear the code first 
and calibrate the parking brakes so you can take it out of service mode. I just clear the code and we're going to um, calibrate the parking brake. Let's go to actually the test and deactivate. There you go, it's doing its thing. As you guys see here, you have to go to parking brake calibration. Say okay. There you go. We got a good. Remember to pump your brakes a couple times, like I'm doing right now before you go for a test drive. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you the next one.